Two cities in Hidalgo County confronting city leaders within 24 hours of each other. During last month's severe flooding, Weslico and Mercedes received nearly a foot of rain, causing dozens of rescues and damaging thousands of homes. Good evening, I'm Chris Jacobs. And I'm Nicole Hickel. Tonight we begin our storm aftermath coverage in Westlaco, where just moments ago, hundreds of people confronted city leaders. CBS 4's Jelena Martinez was at that forum tonight. She's live outside City Hall with more on what unfolded tonight. Jelani. We're finally learning just how many homes were impacted during last month's flooding in Westlaco. According to emergency operations, about 2,500 homes sustained damage. Tonight, City Hall was packed with people filing in to hear city leaders reflect on the flooding that ravaged communities. One person after another stood before the city commission to share their thoughts regarding the city's response to the devastation. Those who spoke say this isn't the first time water has left behind a path of destruction. Ever since October 2015, something's going to change. Something's going to change and obviously it hasn't. I was affected in October 2015. You know, the flooding back then was a lot less than this time. But here we are again. Everything I rebuilt last, you know, the past couple of years, I have to redo again. Why? Because, like I said, the only thing they changed from the city was my tax amount. I spoke to several city leaders about the response during the storm. The, the drainage district says there wasn't a faster way to pump water out of the ditches. Moving forward, officials are looking at ways to increase draining capacities and are assessing the drainage infrastructure. The city says a $52 million drainage infrastructure bond could be a possibility for the community to vote on in November. As for now, people are urged to report storm damage to FEMA. To apply, call 1-800-621-3362 or online at disasterassistance.gov. Live in Westlaco with complete Valley coverage, Jolani Martinez, CBS4 Valley Tonight.